Hey guys, uh, it's Leonard here. Um, this is going to be a quick demonstration of uh, my alt hold, um, give you a bit of an idea of um, what I'm thinking and how this is working. Uh, basically, the, the thing to really look at is how the human input's mixed in. Um, basically, I, I'm simply moving the waypoint around in, in the same way we did with alt hold. Uh, sorry, with alt hold. So this is sorry, the loiter controller. Um, so basically this is uh, the same as the Loiter controller but in two axes based on the inertial nav that uh, um, Randy and Jonathan put together. Um, Randy and Jonathan and I have been working on this for a little while now. Um, Jonathan's got a couple of uh, different approaches um, or additions to what we've got here and we're just trying to work out what's working what's not. So I'll try and do a quick video and give you a demo. So we'll just arm now. Okay, this is going to be all in loiter. Got a bit of a crosswind at the moment, so you know, probably a good indication. Okay, I'll hold. And now, and for the rest of the flight, we will be in loiter. So that's a bit of a crosswind. See it's moving against the crosswind there. This isn't what I think is the perfect loiter. So, um, okay, now, oh, this is basically set up to move at 10 metres a second, I think. I made a, a video last night and realised there was a couple of constraints in there that stopped it, it moving at 10 metres a second. But uh, here we go, we'll just fly to a box. So it's pretty natural feeling. Now you can see it go off to the side. That's um, indicative of the yaw error. And basically um, what, what that's telling us is that the uh, yaw is off, I think. But we're still working through issues like that. But despite that, um, and yeah, that toilet bowl at the end there is a real sign that that yaw is, um, is off at the moment. So, okay, so that was a simple box. And you can see the toilet bowl at the end as it actually corrects. And this is the INS correcting back to where the GPS says it is. Bring it back down. And okay, now I'll go for what feels like a pretty natural fly around actually with, at 10 metres a second. So this is just um, pitch and yaw. So full forward pitch, just using yaw to drive it basically. So you can see it's sort of skewing off and that's your error I think. Okay, with the wind, should be pretty much the same speed. It seems a little bit slow, I'm not sure if I've still got a constraint in there or not. But you can see I can um, roll in there as well. But okay, I'll do some coordinated turns with roll and pitch. As so this is sort of flying pretty well as I would stabilize except with more stick. It's a bit more docile. So letting go of the stick. Okay, let go of the sticks. Okay, full left, facing towards us now. Let go of the sticks. Okay, give you a bit of an idea of forwards back. Okay, full backwards, full forward. So you can see it pretty aggressively changes direction.
trying to get it changed direction right next to me. Okay, and let go of the stick. So 10 meters a second, you can see it sort of takes a while to slow down as it would with a, with manual. So let go of the stick. Okay, I'll do um, some side to sides now. So you can get an idea of exactly how far it takes. Let Okay, let go of the stick. And you can see my there's a your error in there. It's um, quite frustrating because it sort of comes and goes. And it... So yeah, okay. Um, quick fly around. So this is just me flying around in loiter. So it feels very natural. Let go of the sticks. Okay, I'll do a simulated landing loiter. Bit hand fisted there. Okay, it was slow movement, slow adjustment, so it's in front of me. Okay, and I'll just put, I'll just make it drop down here. So this would be similar to what a land would be, so, you know, no, nothing on the sticks. Bit of breeze here. Okay, take off in loiter. No problem. Okay, I was pretty much done. Okay, I'll quick. I'll just fly out, fly a box. See it track off. Yeah, as soon as you see it track off, you get these big toilet bowls. And I think uh, my in motors must be just pulling the. Um, compass around at times and oops I'm going keep it going up and it causes problems but you know it's better than what it was and the toilet bowls there for the old loiter as well so I'm very happy with the human interface whoa stay away from the pole okay bring it down Okay, fly around a little bit more gently now. Bring her in. So yeah, it's sort of, you can sort of fly it around pretty naturally now. Except for that toilet bowl with the yaw problem. So, landing on its own. Whoa. Okay. Just arm. Um, Okay. Okay guys, well um, that was my uh, interpretation of what loiter could be like. Um, as you can see we've still got issues with yaw. Um, there's a, the the uh, third order complementary filter, even though there's some um, problems with it, is performing reasonably well um, with the current setting. Um, so yeah, generally I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Catch you later.